So Dan is going to tell you a little about his cattle operation and how he's gotten his neighbors to let him graze his cows on their land. As a child, Dan worked for his parents on, on their 20-acre farm out in Weld County. Then he became an airline pilot and flew for American Airlines for many years. When he retired, he took up farming again north of Longmont and now owns Boulder Better Wagyu. He sells Wagyu beef at the Boulder <laughs> Farmer's Market and aims to grow great tasting beef for a reasonable price. A little correction on that. Um, I didn't go back to farming at retirement. I, I started, uh, I purchased my farm uh, about 30 years prior to retirement. Otherwise, I couldn't have afforded to lose so much money in agriculture. <laughs> you have a slide for me? So, Elizabeth asked me to uh, focus on acquiring additional land. That would be neighbors. And you can see up here, the red is uh, either the property I have or Boulder County leases. And then this is the Coors Granary, Coors Granary right here. Um, there's a lot of shale. This is a big hill. And so the soil quality is pretty poor. But um, I approached the neighbor up here and asked them if they would agree for us to come in and work the ground, and we do a uh, manure compost mix. Um, Kenworth truck, we put on about 10 ton an acre. Um, if we could work their ground, and it was full of prairie dogs and just ugly on top of this hill. But the um, agreement was for us to come in for five years, and we put oats, triticale, whatnot. We get to use the ground for five years at no cost while we bring the soil up to speed. And then ultimately we'll fence that property and uh, put in an annual grass and use it for grazing. And at that point we'll start to pay them the grazing fees. And so it kind of spread around the neighborhood. Um, I have three properties here. Um, I worked this one first, and then the other two neighbors contacted me and wanted us to do what we had done at the neighbor's place. And one big advantage for these people, these are 35-acre parcels for the most part, is the taxation. So without any agriculture or animals or grazing, um, and these are fairly nice houses on these properties, um, their tax bill might run eight to nine thousand dollars a year, but if they get an agricultural designation on that property, there's about three thousand dollars of extra money that can be used. So it works for them and it works for us, and uh, we'll look forward to picking up some more properties in the future. Have any questions? So, so how do you structure this with your neighbors? Do you have a contract, or how, how do you yeah, work yeah, it out we, with we them? Yeah, write up a contract basically saying what, what I just uh, had uh, explained. And then we take pictures as well. We, we have the cattle uh, in front of their residences. And uh, then they, I, I've heard there's a three-day, or three-year delay on that of late, but I'm not I haven't verified that. But uh, anyway, it, it moves the property, not the residence, but just the property into the agricultural taxation realm and uh, saves them a bunch of money. And they're happy with how it looks. And uh, it's been working out pretty well. So we picked up right at 100 acres uh, if you exclude the housing site and whatnot. Oh, well, it's not Boulder County property, so we, we kind of whittled them down a little bit. <laughs> but they, they just don't go away. That's poisoning. Yeah, but, but the, uh, 
The raptors love it. Sometimes within 10 seconds, I'll be a hawk on that dead prairie dog, which does my heart well. <laughs> Um, the first property, this will be our, our third season. So is the compost manure mix, are you doing any other seeding? We're not going to seed it for one more year, and then, then we'll go into the uh, annual grass and create a grazing property. Yes? Is there anything you want to do annual grasses that we're putting in into perennials? Well, per perennials are more labor. That's okay. Oh, I I'm sorry. I said uh, annual. Anyway. I meant perennials. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, thank you for pointing that out. All right, yeah, right. Definitely perennials. <laughs> so, yes, sir. So it, it's your cost on manure compost. That's correct. If you um, if you hired somebody to do it commercially, it's about $125 per load by the time we go to the dairy and load it and haul it on site and distribute it. So it's $60 for hiring and $65 for the spreading. Anybody else? Thank you.